The Cascadia Cup resumes in Seattle. Two streaking teams meet at Rio Tinto and an I-95 clash at RFK next on The Daily. Hey everybody, happy Friday and welcome to another edition of The Daily here with Andrew Reeby. I'm Nick Fershaw, looking forward to some of the biggest games this weekend in MLS. Let's start with a good one on Saturday. The Cascadia Cup is back. The Seattle Sounders at home against the Vancouver Whitecaps. 4 p.m. Eastern on TSN2 up in Canada and MLS Live down in the United States. The Sounders have, uh, they haven't dominated this series, but they haven't lost yet. Three games all time between these two teams and some good games in the past. The Sounders looking to extend their uh, streak over Vancouver with a lot of fans in attendance on Saturday. Yeah, Nick, 54,000 the report coming out yesterday. That's just initial ticket sales. We'll see how the walk-ups do. Should be a big crowd for that Cascadia rivalry game. This is a big one when it comes down to Western Conference standing implications. Both these teams, fourth and fifth right now, tied on 37 points. Seattle does have two games in hand though, so if you're Vancouver, you're looking to climb the table, this may be a must-win game for you in the Western Conference. They'll likely have to do it without Jay Demerit though. He is questionable. Not unavailable, but still not penciled into that lineup for Martin Rennie. He's saying, you know, he's getting better, but Got to be careful with the concussions, but they'll also get back two Jamaicans, Dane Richards and Darren Maddox. So those two guys should add to it, an offense that sputtered against FC Dallas. Still, I think you have to give Seattle the uh, edge in this one. All the fans, that tough week, they'll be desperately looking for three points. Sounders with one win, and then there's two draws in this series all time. A lot of good highlights from this one. Eric Osley's goal uh, last year, you remember that one, and then Freddie Montero with some heroics last year, and Seattle's only win in this series. Again, 4 p.m. Eastern on TSN2 up in Canada on MLS Live in the United States. Well, a good one on Saturday night at Rio Tinto Stadium. Real Salt Lake at home against FC Dallas. 9 p.m. Eastern on MLS Live. A case of two teams headed in opposite directions over the last couple weeks. RSL losers of their last three overall. And Dallas unbeaten in their last three. What do we expect at Rio Tinto? Well, it's been a tough couple weeks for Real Salt Lake. But they're coming back home. That's a place where we've seen over the years where they've kind of been able to right their wrongs and get the ship back on the right track. FC Dallas, though, you've got to watch out for this team. Shells Hyman, after getting guys healthy, getting especially David Ferreira back in the lineup. They're 4-2-2 four, 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 two and two over their last eight. That's all with Ferreira as a starter. Of course, he had two assists against Vancouver last week. Another note from this one, Breck Shea likely back. We'll see how much he plays, what role he plays for uh, Dallas after that Wednesday night game in Azteca. And can he have that same impact? Will he come out and take players on? All those things to look for in a tough Western Conference clash. A uh, short rest for Breck Shea and the rest of FC Dallas players. Don't forget, they played Wednesday night up in Vancouver. They got a nice win over the Whitecaps, but now uh, back at it just a few days later at Altitude at Rio Tinto Stadium, 9 p.m. Eastern on MLS Live. We're looking forward to Sunday, the I-95 clash between DC United and the Philadelphia Union. It's at 5 p.m. Eastern on the NBC Sports Network. You can catch a live chat on MLSsoccer.com. DC uh, battling for playoff position, as it were, and they've lost a little bit of ground over the last couple weeks. The Philadelphia Union head down to RFK looking to get their mojo going. And these teams actually completed a trade on Thursday. Leonard Pahoy going from the Union to DC United for Danny Cruz. Leonard Pahoy, actually the leading scorer for the Union, but still not quite enough for John Hackworth to keep him around. Yeah, you gotta think that he's probably gonna be in the starting lineup after that trade. Long Tan being one of the guys that's kind of shuffled in and out there. Clearly, Ben Olsen just looking for some sort of solution right now to those goal scoring problems. But both of these teams facing must wins. Philadelphia and DC United both with games in hand on competition. Philadelphia on their side, they've really got to get things going. Look to have almost a perfect ending to this season. They'll have the opportunity to do so. In addition to this game, they've just got one game against Western Conference uh, competition the rest of the way. So if they can get this one out of the way, start to get that momentum building in, they're in a good place. DC still looking fine in those standings, but uh, that summer swoon is not doing good things to the confidence up there. We'll see if they can rebound from uh, a loss last weekend. And Dwayne De Rosario still waiting on that 100th goal. He's been waiting for a while. We've been trying to hype it up here, but Dwayne De Rosario has struggled a little bit to get over that hump. We'll see if he can do it on Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern on the NBC Sports Network and a live chat on MLSsoccer.com. We talked about that game and much, much more on the latest edition of Extra Time Radio, which came out on Thursday. We had Alexi Lawless uh, debate it with our own Simon Borg about whether or not the U.S. national team over-celebrated that big win over Mexico. You can catch that show on iTunes, Buzzsprout, and Stitch Radio. That does it for us. Make sure you log on to MLSsoccer.com for all the coverage of this weekend's games.